We have our good friend in the studio with us right now, Dr. Stephanie Moen from Plaza Dental is here. Time to give you a great smile. Hey. And uh, we're just laughing here because uh, we are looking at boxes of candy yeah. that you collected yes. over the past just couple of days, wasn't it? Yes, Yeah. that I'm not keeping all for myself. No, look at all this candy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And hey, tell everybody what this is for. So we do what's called the Halloween candy buyback. What we do is we buy uh, candy back from kids that have gone trick-or-treating and might have a little extra that they don't need. And then we ship it overseas to our troops that are serving for us. That's got to be two, three hundred pounds. It's three hundred pounds. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know. Isn't that crazy? That is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, from what we understand, they really appreciate it. And, and I mean, who wouldn't want to get a big box of candy right? <laughs> if you're serving overseas? And today overseas, is National Candy Day, so it how, is. how appropriate. See, it all ties I know. together. See it all ties works. together. Well, we were laughing during the commercial break because Lou says I'd be handing the candy to kids if I was to a make dentist, sure yeah. yes. you're, you're readily employed yes. for quite some means time. means I'm a much nicer person than you are. <laughs> you know, everybody knows that. Because. So. <laughs> That she ships it overseas. <laughs> <laughs> because obviously candy can do some damage to your teeth and we want everyone right. to well, have. Right. Well, what I actually told Lou is that, that, that kids don't really need any help getting right. sugar. They, and, they you know, and parents, I mean, parents are always going, no, I too much sugar. Please stop giving my kids sugar, you know. But that's so. a wonderful, wonderful thing your office does. Uh, yeah, we like every it. Yeah, we like season. it. It's, it's a good thing. That so. is great. Wonderful. So what are we talking about here this morning? Well, today we're going to talk about cosmetic dentistry, So, uh, which is kind of funny because I think it's I think it's a cool top I think it's a cool topic of course because it, it it really changes who people how people perceive themselves and how they feel about themselves mm -hmm. and and it's it's not to me it's not a <sighs> luxury. It's sort of just a, everybody should have a really nice smile. Are you talking mm -hmm. about having braces or are you talking yeah. about actually rebuilding part of your tooth? So there's a combination. Cosmetic dentistry today is different than it used to be. It used to be that cosmetic dentistry was veneers. I mean, you know, and, and you would, you know, paste porcelain over the teeth and, and make somebody a really nice smile. And that's still possible if everybody has straight teeth and they have, um, they just have really nice, a nice smile already, but they don't, they, they don't like the appearance of their teeth. So veneers, crowns, implants or um, or straightening teeth so those are all kind of options and sometimes we use a combination of different things just depending on what people need a lot of research recently has been that um, a lot of times when if two straightened teeth we open up an arch and make it bigger so that the airway also um, a lot of people that have very constricted arches and they, they have you know you see people that you can only see like three or four of their their front teeth they don't have like a big broad smile uh, sometimes that means that their airway is smaller and then they're at risk of sleep apnea which oh. can lead to Big problems. Really the, big problems. the arch being what? What is the arch? The, like the, your upper teeth or your lower teeth. So okay. the arch of teeth. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks for asking. That's, no. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. It's it's a little bit Latin. <laughs> but technology has changed. If people are thinking about uh, doing something to their teeth to create a better smile, it's not what they maybe thought of. Yes. 10, well, technology years has ago. changed dramatically because now we have digital solutions. We have ways that we can um, we can predict. You know, okay, here's what you look like today. This is what you can look like. You know, six months from now or 12 months from now or wh however the process will lead. And sometimes it's even like two months from now. Sometimes it can be really fast. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on on what different treatments we combine to to make a nice smile. Yeah, we saw Jackie's when, when you had yours. <coughs> yep, you I had, had mine straightened and you had a, a tooth put in, so we've experienced it ourselves of how... A shiny new tooth. A shiny new tooth. <laughs> of how simple it can be and what you can right. physically do uh, these and days. And one teeth. of the beautiful things about dentistry today is it can be much less scary after coming out of Halloween. Dentistry doesn't have to be scary anymore because mm. we have all sorts of different ways that we can take care of people. We can give um, people anti-anxiety medication before they come in so that they, they don't feel like their heart's going to be out of their chest when they're having treatment. So there's a lot of things that we can do now that really help people to be very comfortable in the dental chair, which is something that a lot of people never thought that they would be. Because years ago, people did not go to dentists for years. Oh, yeah, because people of that, because would of white the, knuckle, oh. you know. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. And some people still do that, and they, they don't really know that there are, are differences in, in how we can do things. It's a much kinder, gentler thing, which is good for me, too, because I don't like it when people come in and say, I hate you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, you had some straightening done with Jackie. You, you built a tooth uh, yep. for for Jason and yeah. years ago uh, people remember uh, there were two people in media in Des Moines oh, right. that yeah. had a big gap yeah. in their tooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ed Wilson was one yeah. of them and yours truly was another yeah. one. And I had a big gap in between yeah. my front two teeth and they filled it in. Yep. And it has remained yeah. from there. So yeah. can, you, can you see that here? I, I mean I, I could take a pencil and stick a pencil <laughs> through there. That's how big the, wow. 
and it really and did. Now you nice can't shot. spit through no. there now, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, you've mentioned this a number of times on this program. This is the type of thing that can make a huge difference mm. in someone's it does. life, uh, self-confidence-wise, and you, you hate to see it. It, it even affects uh, oh, their sure. career. And, yeah, I mean, relationships, it's, it's, career, it absolutely. Deal. Well, I mean, I, I hate it that the system works that way, but it really does. I mean, and it's really more a product of how we feel about ourselves than it is about what, you know, because everybody knows the, the, the goofy guy that, that you know, you wouldn't call handsome, but everybody loves him. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's really more about how you feel about yourself than it is about how other people perceive you. Right. But it's it, it can change the way you feel about yourself, and then it changes the way that other people react to you because your personality. People, per, their personalities change. You see I mean, people that will cover their mouth when oh, they laugh. All the time, mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, I mean, and and you know people like that. Everybody knows somebody like that that's uncomfortable with their smile, and they know if you're close enough to them, they'll tell you. I don't like I don't like to smile because. Um, you know, and people that don't like to smile are—they're they, not perceived as friendly or outgoing, or or um, somebody that you want to get to know, or somebody that you want to spend time with. So, but there's yeah. solutions out there if people think they well, she can't fix this because it's because of, of my age or yeah. it's been like this for so long. Or, yeah, there are. Solutions well, there's out there. even like almost instant types of solutions that we have something called snap-on smile so that if somebody's missing several teeth or they have teeth that, that they don't like the appearance of, we can literally have a lab fabricate a perfect set of teeth for them. It's temporary, mm -hmm. but it's something that they can wear in the interim while they're working on getting really? their smile back. So if they yeah. don't want to completely go through a, yeah. a major overhaul or something, yeah. they can oh, do for events yeah. and things So like we, that. Have, we have a lot of patients that will do that first and just to kind of get their smile back and feel better about themselves and then we work on you know the hard work. <laughs> you know, the, never heard the, of that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. That, that is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Now, let, let's get to the, the bottom line here, hmm. um, pricing for some some of this stuff. You know, it, it can be a little pricey. Now, does it insurance can. cover any of this? A lot of times it does. It depends on what has been done in the past. A lot of times insurance will have sort of a pre-existing condition type of thing mm -hmm. that hasn't changed like it has in medicine. But it can be some, like something simple like you had done, which, I mean, I, I would consider that to be simple. It was quick and it was it painless. It was very quick, and, yeah. um, You know, it can be, you know, anywhere from a few hundred dollars to, you know, if somebody has to have their entire mouth rebuilt, it's going to be a car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be a you know it's it's going to be a big big project. It's going to take lots of visits. It's going to take lots of time and mm -hmm. lots of materials and lots of labor. So it's you know. But just ask. That's the important just thing. Just ask. I mean, like here's the thing. Like I don't really know very many people that um, can't give you. We do free consultations, so people come in and they get a ballpark of what we can do and how we can do it and what it might cost before we charge them anything. So that's something that, that I think a lot of people are really intimidated by that step, but that's that's not a difficult step. Mm -hmm. So just, I mean, some people get, get to know, they want to just know what they're up against before they really want to move forward. So It's a great location. They keep yeah, keep you as comfortable as possible, so we highly recommend checking out something out for uh, your wellness and your great smile. There it is. And somewhere there, there's a bunch of candy right now. <laughs> <laughs> now would be a good time to visit. In yeah. Dr. Stephanie's office. <laughs> yep. But there you go. There's how you find uh, Plaza Dental Group, dmsmiles.com to get all the information. Yeah. Great job. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thank you.